on the brand. It depends on the brand. <laughs> but, Just like here. Okay. But, yeah, but it's, it's, it's interesting. Like, uh, Sapporo is the big uh, Japanese beer. It, it was uh, more popular in Japan, and then mostly got a hold of it here, and it's a little stronger here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a little different, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, well, it tastes pretty much the same, but it's a little stronger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and that uh, that happens with a, a number of the different brands. Well, listen, I'm I'm sure you could almost uh, have used a a beer to sit down and calm your nerves this week. Um, these are, are difficult times for uh, business owners, and during the pandemic, there are inspectors making sure that people are adhering to the uh, public health guidelines. And you had an inspection that's got to be nerve wracking. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a surprise. Like, uh, and actually, I, I, that, I guess that's the point. They're, 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 they're trying to surprise us. And, and uh, so we got a phone call in the middle, right in between classes. So she picked sort of a good time because we have 15-minute windows in between that I can clean and sort of reorganize everything for the next class. And so she showed up right then. Uh, so it was good because we were able to run her through our safety protocols and uh, show us what we're doing and everything. So she picked a good time, but uh, and she was very friendly, super friendly. But in the end, uh, she said we were going beyond what we needed to do in order to keep our students safe. And that's you know, to, to us, that was a great thing to hear. Well, it, it definitely is. And that can't be easy because uh, you are moving a few people through and you're, you're still um, covered by the restrictions of being in a, a red zone. Um, was that the difference that they came by because it's a red zone now? I'm not sure because uh, I, I, I'm sort of believing that that's the case. Uh, we're allowed to have 10 on the floor plus instructors. Uh, and so that might have been it. I, I've got some friends that are working in York region, and they said they sort of blitzed York right before the lockdown happened to them this week. So I'm wondering if they're just fact-finding and gathering information. I'm hoping that it works out well because I don't really want to go to lockdown next week. Right, right. Now, um, for the most part, uh, one of your your most popular programs has uh, been your Little Dragons program. Yeah, and that's changed a little bit through um, both, I I guess, even when we were in yellow. Uh, One of the things with our Little Dragons is because it was so popular, we had at one point up to 26 students on the floor. Um, They are three to six-year-olds, and so you can imagine that sometimes a little bit busy and when we are trying to socially distance them it doesn't quite work out as easily as we'd like to so what we've actually done over uh, the time we've been open back in person is we've uh, asked all of the parents so each child has to have a parent present with them on the floor to train so that's been a really neat addition because the parents have had the opportunity to see what their kids are doing and to to be really hands-on with them what kind of things do you teach uh, at the younger levels? Uh, it, well, think of it like sort of like parents and tots for swimming, but with karate. I guess that's the best way to describe it. So um, I'm just trying to get them active. So we've, uh, we're have we looking at things like trying to get them, their balance improving. Um, there's a transverse plane and sagittal plane, so I want to be able to get them to be able to move on, on those levels as well. So they need to be able to start recognizing their rights and their lefts. So I'd like to see if they can get, you know, maybe uh, like we'll say, okay, I want you to punch with your right hand, kick with your left foot. You know, so that's basically... That's that takes a lot of hand-eye coordination for a three- and four-year-old. And, and uh, um, one thing about having the parents in is that they can be involved in the drills as well. So they can hold pads. Uh, we'll actually we'll do stuff with pool noodles. Actually, Monday we did some stuff with tennis balls. And, and, and it's just if I can keep them stimulated and still keep them moving, then I've accomplished my goal. Now, is it uh, creating patterns and... Um and motions that uh, will be ingrained in in a student? Um, patterns and motions, uh, if you're speaking strictly from a martial arts point of view, that comes a little bit later in their training. At the beginning, like Scott said, we're, we're looking to introduce them to basic movements. Um, it's interesting, the difference between a three and a six-year-old, for example, what, for example, two means. Let's do two punches. And for a three-year-old, often that means just keep punching until somebody says stop. And for a six-year-old, they might understand one, two. Um, 
So that's the beginning of patterning that we're looking for is that they can understand a sequential nature. Um, but as they get on to their training, then we're introducing more of something what we call kata, uh, which are pre-choreographed m- movements. So uh, that comes a little bit later, but they've got to have those basic rights and lefts and uh, sequential thought patterning before we can get to there. Right. Some kids would be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And they, they won't necessarily understand um, a steady rhythm or um, that one hand is different than the other. So one, two might exactly what you just said translate to them as one, two, or what do, what do, what do. Um, so that's the kind of thing that it's, it's neat. And what, what we really like now that the parents are in is that they're really having the opportunity to see the difference in learning styles and abilities with, with their kids. So things that we think are easy as adults because they're on the floor doing the exercises too – Um, So, for example, you know, stand up like a starfish, now touch your right toes with your left hand, is not an easy task. Parents have no problem doing it, but for the kids, they're like, wait a second, so they're touching right with right, and so often parents are having to, you know, to correct them. So things like opposites are very, very difficult. Do you think the uh, program's even more popular because of the pandemic? Yep, absolutely. Uh, especially when August chat hit and uh, we were allowed to have people back on the floor. Um, our our younger kids, that, that was the big attraction because they there's not a lot of activities right now. And what activities are running are, have been compromised. So we've had more than a few parents give us feedback that they're just happy that we were able to run something. And uh, so that's, again, crossing fingers that we can keep on doing what we're doing. Uh, do you have any idea if um, if Durham Region went into a gray zone, what it would mean for your business? Uh, we'll just go back online. We did online classes before, and actually that's one of the things about Little Dragons is, like, right now, with us only allowed to have 10 people on the floor at a time, we are not taking any youth or adult students just because I want to look after the students that we do have. And uh, but little dragons because we've got parents involved and again we can be online like we we have little dragons right now that are online and the parents are doing it from their house so they don't even have to leave their home and they get to do an activity with their kids so for for a lockdown for us for little dragons is it's it's not totally welcome because I do like having everybody in person but at the same time it, it we can pretty much do an acceptable program from your home. What would it mean overall for the business? But, uh, if you went into gray. Uh, overall, well, you know, again, we're not looking forward to it. I hate Zoom. Like, like, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll be honest. I really hate Zoom. I like having the interaction with my students. And um, one of the biggest depressing things for me to be online is when we mute everybody and I can't get that kind of feedback back. And we have to have that because uh, we sort of figured that er- out early on is that we would start teaching a class. And then if you have, like, a speaker view on your uh, Zoom meeting, then basically whoever's puffing and panting the most, that's the person you're going to see on the screen. So, uh, yeah, we've got to mute everybody. So, oh, right. A, yes. I, I would never have thought of that. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. so, so that's instructor, the noise they hear. Yeah. Yeah. And as an instructor, that's, that's like, you don't realize how much you're gauging sound or well, how you teach by your by sound. You know, and and uh, so that's a really big component. And then, you know, like, you go home even like last night we had two black belts in and I was having a conversation with them after a class and, and on Zoom what you get is, All right, thank you and then they click off. Goodbye. <laughs> and so you miss that social interaction too. Right. Yeah. Uh well, uh congratulations on uh, passing with flying colors in the uh in your inspection. Um that as I said, it's gotta be nerve wracking. Uh well, you know, you yeah, know what again. you're doing, but you're hoping that that is gonna come across. Yeah, and, and one of the last things I said to her is I said, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that you came in. I'm thankful that you, you told us we're doing everything right because we want to stay open. Like, we don't want to be the contributing reason why uh, we close down. You know, that, uh, that would just, it doesn't make sense to me. And uh, are you guys, I guess you're just going to um, continue to, uh, to do your business right through until uh, Christmas? Uh, so the 19th, which is this Saturday, that's our last day of Little Dragons classes, and we have a final grading on Saturday for our color belt. Um, but then our martial arts classes shut down for two weeks through through the holidays. Scott needs a, Scott needs a little bit of a, a break, and it's well-deserved. 
Uh, our fitness classes will continue kind of here and there. We'll take off Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve, that kind of stuff. Um, and if we go on to lockdown, then same same kind of thing. Our fitness classes all get put online as well. But we, we're we slowing down for a couple of weeks, and I, we're looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you do need some uh, downtime. It has been a long year, that's for sure. Guys, that's thank you sure. again for uh, spending time with us uh, today here on the uh, on Wellness Wednesday. And by the way, Scott, uh, congratulations. Uh, for those who don't know, you're also doing uh, online um, instructions, uh, education through Seneca College. And uh, it is the radio program, and I understand you passed uh, as well with Flying Colors there. So congratulations. Yeah, apparently I got a message actually from uh, one of the teachers, and, and uh, he told me I had my black belt in uh, radio for the first semester. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'd be bringing that into any uh, job uh, <laughs> if you're applying for a job. Yes, oh, I have a black will. belt in radio. Oh, oh really? Will. Okay, fine. <laughs> you're the first guy I'm coming to see, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we do need security here, so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, listen, uh, thanks again, and uh, we'll catch up with you next Wednesday. Thanks very Thank much, you. sir. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Yes, that can be nerve-wracking. I can't imagine what that's like. But uh, again, Okami Kai uh, passing with flying colors in uh, hitting those health protocols in the past week. They had uh, an inspection there. We want to thank uh, Scott Campbell and uh, Jennifer and for uh, joining us here on Wellness Wednesday.